Trouble in Paradise. We got Tommy C. We got Log Cow Live. We got Keemstar. Let's get right into the video. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Flatly. Currently under the weather. I got like walking <coughs> pneumonia or whatever that's called. I don't know what that means. I'll bet that's what the doctor said. It is what it is. We got a, a video here by Tommy C. and Keem. Uh, I just got a message from Keem, so I know you guys are a lot of interested in my pay situation. Uh, I, I'm not playing this game where we have to get into discussion over what. I work the month of July. I'm to be paid the month of July and walk. I'm not playing any games. I'm not getting to manipulative bullshit or anything like that. He went on and told people he wouldn't pay me. Um, he's going to pay me for the month of July. I'm not going for a meeting with him. We're not getting a discussion. We're not going to have a debate. I'm just going to make this public right now. He is to pay me for what I've done because I don't want to do anything else. I want out. I'm done. I did my part. I'm to be paid. And I'm not getting nitpicked over vacation that I put in months earlier. Pay me, Keemstar. I will take this to the public. I don't want to do anything with you in private. You are to pay me for what I did. That's it. Bye. With all this being said, it's pretty much clear as day that Tommy C is claiming that he didn't get paid for any of his work done in July for Log Cal Live. And Keemstar is over here saying, hey, you didn't do anything for Log Cal Live. And we got these tweets. We got these tweets for Fergie. I don't know if you guys know who Tommy C is. Tommy C is known for his part in the Baited Podcast, his own personal channel, and his uh, his job on Log Cal Live. Just a little bit about him. He's a commentary guy. So uh, Willie Back Show says Keem is the only person I know that can withhold 6K from an employee and claim to be the one who was scammed. That Log Cal Live behavior is on point. And then Log Cal Live goes ahead and screams just saying, Tommy, sorry, bud. You're not going to scam me. Maybe you can scam these viewers into thinking you're a victim when you didn't even work. And then Keemstar says, Tommy only did one stream in July that was his last stream and he told multiple people he was quitting then he decided no I'm gonna get fired so he purposely started a bunch of feuds with me on vacation in hopes to get fired when he came back from vacation he still didn't work and then he fired up a live stream and started leaking all kinds of fucking financial information forcing me to fire him I'm not paying him for the time he did not work and nothing is going to change my mind by the way here's a screenshot of their financial earnings for the month of July which is insane insane bo blacks goes ahead and says pay him keem or i will dm this to ethan klein that's kind of funny in my opinion if tommy c is not paid what he is owed from his work on law cow during july i'll do everything in my power to blow up this story and force him to pay tommy what he's owed through public pressure f it i'll make my main channel return video about this if i have to tommy helped contribute to me getting paid by pokemon through sharing my copyright story in late 2018 before it blew up with fainted vids I'm just returning the favor. And then Keemstar goes ahead and reiterates his point from before. Tommy only did one stream in July. Da -da 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 -da. And then he goes ahead and states this tweet above is incorrect. He did three streams in July. Basically about half the month and he will get paid for the work he did. Okay. So now he goes back on his word. He's going to go and, and pay him. People are riveted are coming in here. Goes ahead. Not true, Keem. And Tommy was there for 7 9 24, 7 10 24, 7 15 24, and 7 10. Being the biggest one where Boogie vs. Destiny was. Do I think Keem's being bad faith? Absolutely. I think he's taking this way too much to the head. I think his ego is getting way too far in, into his head. It's. Should say he's he's going after Tommy not only not only for him going on vacation but it really seems like he scheduled all these things around Tommy's vacation but I really don't think that matters in the end of the day because Tommy was still there for the biggest parts of the show especially the wings and uh, boogie and uh, the whole cancer scandal let me know what you guys think in the comments section below <coughs> I'm still under the weather <coughs> so I'm pretty sure I'll be around I'll see you all in the next one subscribe if you're new and I'm out.